everyone, thank you so much for joining me for the Love from Lizzie December 2017 card kit, 10 card, 1 kit video. I took uh, some dies and I cut various size leaf, leaves and shapes and used the greens from the Distress inks to color them. I then took the red cardstock from the card kit and cut rose flowers from the dies, roses and thorns. I distressed the outside or the edges of this as well. I cut two vines from the die set with cardstock from the kit and I attached the roses that were also in the kit in the embellishment bag having cut off the metal stems with the die cutting pliers. The little roses were attached to the front panel which was from the pattern paper, 6x6 six six pattern paper. They were placed and, and positioned around the card on the vines, leaves in different uh, clusters were also applied. A second layer was added to the roses, forming it with a tonic flower shaping tool. The sentiment was heat embossed using red embossing powder and cut to a narrow strip. Sequins were applied to the center of the flowers, adhering them with Nuvo Deluxe Adhesive. Once this was dry, a miniature pearl, pearl was attached to the center of the sequin. A strip of paper was reserved from the pattern of paper from the front panel and used on the inside panel. This panel was attached to the card base. The front panel was attached to the first mat, which was red cardstock. The front panel was attached with the red cardstock to the top fold portrait card card base. And this is card number one. Card two, we used a stamp from the stamp set, a long stemmed rose. It was stamped with desert sand, memento ink, and Lyra pencils were used to color the rose and the stem, as well as the leaves. When this was done, it was fussy cut. The shimmer graphite uh, card front that was in the kit was used Happy Birthday die was cut out of the center so that this nice base could be used as a mat. A piece of pattern paper from the pattern paper in the kit was cut to size. The 1 8 ribbon had be creative tape attached to the backing of the ribbon so that it could be secured to the front of that panel. Happy Birthday was secured. The die cut with Nouveau adhesive and the rose was placed through the H and the B in the Happy Birthday die cut. A piece of pattern paper was reserved from the front panel attached to the inside along with the strip of ribbon. You Are Loved was stamped on the inside panel as well as the long stem rose over the top and this was attached to the inside of the card base. The front mat was attached to the card base and this card is complete. Card 3 was made from the orange card stock from the kit which was cut down to make a panel. The silver doily was cut in half and then overlaid through the center to make it more of an oval shape. The edge was cut so that the pattern was continuous. This was attached by Putting the Nouveau adhesive just on the center of the doily. In the top center of the orange panel, and a cardstock sticker was used. This was attached in the center of the silver doily. The front panel was attached to a white card base. 
and this is card three. Card four used the specialty paper that was highly texturized. A red mat was also used on the front. The inside panel was glued to the inside of the card base, as well as a strip of pattern paper along the bottom. The texturized specialty paper was attached to the red mat. A strip of red cardstock was placed to the center, and a sticker from the cardstock stickers was over the center of that strip. And that finishes this card. On to the next one. A beige piece of cardstock from the kit was cut for the top layer of a standard A2 card. It was sent through the embossing so that it would have a wood texture. I then took the piece of pattern paper that was all doors and cut the door out of the pattern paper and I attached foam all around which would be the frame of the door. The release paper was removed off of that foam and it was attached to the embossed paper. A sticker that says you plus me equals heart was placed on the inside and three sequins from the kit was a cat attached to the front in a triangle pattern. A strip was applied to the inside layer <coughs> and that layer was glued on to the card base. And that completes this card. The mesh from the kit was laid onto the white cardstock and I took some rubbing alcohol and some gold acrylic paint and put it in a mini mister and sprayed it through the mesh. This made a mesh pattern onto the white cardstock which I set aside and dried. I cut it into squares to make the panels and I attach those. Well this one, I have another card coming and I attach that to a mat, a red mat. There was a rose dye in the kit and I cut out various red roses attaching the green leaves as well as gold leaves, gold foil leaves, different colored green leaves and then I also cut out another assortment of leaves with dyes and did the distress ink as I did for the first card. I saved a piece of the red mat and put that on the inside making a nice cluster of roses from the embellishment bag again and cut roses along with the various leaves along the front of this panel. On to the next card. I cut these two strips of leaves at a white cardstock and used distressed ink on them and then set them aside. This was a die from Spellbinders this is called uh, a daisy or something and I cut that out of the yellow cardstock. I also cut a yellow panel and distressed that as well as the yellow flowers with uh, fossilized amber. The graphite, the shimmer graphite was also another uh, card base that was in the kit. I attached the leaves and the yellow flowers using three flowers. champagne foil leaves, silver leaves, and pewter leaves. I stamped the sentiment with pewter embossing powder by Zing. You are so loved. I put this on a strip, cut it down. The miniature pearls and pewter were also in the kit. Uh, so I put seven of those in each one of the centers of the flowers. The inside panel was attached to the inside of the card and the outside panel was glued with the Nouveau liquid adhesive and attached to the card base. 
we have a side fold card. Here we are on card number eight. Card number eight is another one that was done with the mesh and the gold. I cut the rose die cut out of the center and another die cut with gold texturized mirror which we had in a couple kits ago. I placed that die cut in the center where the die cut was taken out of face down. I put Nouveau glue all over the perimeter and also on the back of the die cut and then laid mirror sheet down over the top covering the whole backing. Some super fine Nouveau gold glitter was used and just placed on the die cut where the holes would show the glitter and then very carefully took the Nouveau glue again and just went around the outside of the die cut trying not to get too close I then applied a smaller piece of mirror sheet over the top of that and then a block for weight once it was dry I attached a gold metallic ribbon from a previous kit and then attached the front panel to the card base and that finishes card number eight card number nine a piece of pattern paper from the kit was cut to size and used as a front panel the cardstock sticker from the 12 by 12 sheet was applied to the front top center and then a border strip was also taken from the card stock sheet of stickers and a placed on the inside panel. Two peel off stickers were added to the front towards the bottom of the card. The excess was snipped off and put back on the released paper. And that is this card. The end of card number nine. And now card number ten. Two Sizzix grass dies were used. They were cut out of white cardstock from the kit. And then distressed ink was used, having dark and light. A stamp from the stamp set, a wheel, and a cart were stamped with gray flannel memento ink. And then excuse me, fussy cut. A front panel was cut to size from the 6x6 six six pattern paper and the berries in the kit were utilized for this card with the metal stems being cut off with the same die cutters two pieces of creative tape were attached to the back of the wagon top and these berries were attached by the little metal stems that were left onto the back. Once I had them situated just right I attached a piece of um, just ordinary tape along the back. Um, low dimensional foam tape from the scrapbook adhesive was attached to that and then various leaves and a little bit of greenery, shrubbery was attached to the back of the foam with an additional piece added over the top and then all of that stuck to the card front. A sticker that said live, with, live life with purpose was attached also to the card front. The inside panel was glued to the inside of the card and the outside panel glue to the outside of the card. And that finishes card number 10. Here are the 10 cards I completed today. Visit lovefromwizzy.com for more information. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.